Good morning, guys. What's up? Uh, this shirt couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> this shirt couldn't be more appropriate this morning. Uh, definitely didn't get much sleep last night I'm trying to last minute get my R32 ready to bring up north to Connecticut. Apologize for all this humidity that keeps on getting all in your guys' face right now. I'm gonna go ahead and save the details of the actual R32 for when we go and pick it up, but I will tell you it's got a lot of special parts on it. It's low mileage. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's gonna be a perfect car for my dad. And I want to give you guys a little bit more of a backstory of where this idea came from and why I want to get my dad a Skyline. But first, I need to sleep so I can drive a lot in trailer to come pick up the R32 in Florida. And he was able to check out a car in South Carolina for me that was sent to me by a subscriber. And the person whose car we're checking out is actually a subscriber. So he checked the car out. And now today, we are back en route to bring my R32 up north. And we're going to go pick up the car because I'm driving the car up north. So I'm gonna sleep in the truck and then we'll touch base in like, I don't know, well, I guess in your time it'll be like 30 seconds. <laughs> so we're locked and loaded, ready to make the 18 hour drive up north. The first leg is four hours to go pick up the car. About a four hour drive and we found ourselves on Hilton Head Island and we're pulling up this little community where this R32 lives. So we showed up and here is the R32. So before I show you guys anything with the car, I'd like to introduce you to the owner, now previous owner, Brad. What's up guys? All right, so tell me a little bit about this car. I picked it up last year, March, so I've had it for like a month and a half, well, a year and a half. It was always a dream of mine to own an R32. I always wanted the GTR, but I have no patience. I found this one, they um, said it was pretty clean, had low mileage, and had a lot of uh, good parts on it, Nismo parts, authentic parts. Um, as you can see, it's got the LMG T2. These are sweet. So, how many uh, kilometers are on the car? Uh, 69,000 now. So, I don't really ever trust any odometer reading from Jap cars, but uh, looking around, it does seem like it could be accurate. Um, we just took the car for a little stroll and she definitely feels smooth, but... Um, so, what's the deal? Why are you getting rid of this thing? Can't do anything to it here. Yeah. HOAs, man. Yeah. Hilton Head. <laughs> yep. Head Island strict. But anyway, this is a beautiful, it's wine red. What's the code? Is it like age a three or something? Age three. I've been looking for this color for a while. I don't know, did anyone reach out to you or it was just when I hit you up? Subscriber, I don't know who it was. I'm sorry, I would, I would love to tag you. Message me a link to your car and like I couldn't even click it because you're in a, it was a different Facebook classified. Yeah. So we started chatting and the car's got a lot of cool bits on it but what I like about it the most is it is still relatively stock. Um, you said it's got Allens coilovers, um, in terms of the engine, pretty much everything's stock other than the front mount, but it's got all the cool little Nismo and GTR goodies. So it's a clean, really nice starting platform. Not too clean, but clean enough. So I'm sure you're sad to see her go. Oh, for sure. Did you used to do YouTube or Twitch, was Twitch. it? Uh, Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. So are you doing yeah, YouTube now? I'm a partner Twitch streamer. Yeah? Actually, yeah. So what do you exactly do on Twitch? Uh, play video games. What, like what game? What's your thing? Uh, MOBAs, uh, shooters. Yeah, 1v1 Rust right now. Okay. If I win, I get the car for free. All right. Let's go inside. You want to play for real? No, I gotta go. I gotta drive. I gotta drive to Connecticut. <laughs> That'd be fun. But anyway, do you? Uh, what's like your name on Twitch or YouTube if people want to check it's, you out? Uh, Twitch.tv/authentic. I appreciate you meeting up with me and taking off work. This is a special car and it's gonna go to a special person. So. Yeah, man. I couldn't be happier. What do you? What do you think? Because I, I told you it's going to my dad, right? Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Are you bummed or are you stoked? I mean. Or at least it's not I going to someone gonna, that's going to ruin know, it. Exactly. I know it's going to be taken care of. Yeah. Of all the people it could have went to, man, yeah. I'm glad that you reached out to me. Honestly, when you first reached out to me, I didn't even believe it was you. Yeah. Was some imposter. <laughs> yeah. I we. Was like, dude, there's no way it's right. That's why I was kind of like, I was like, nah. SD's not serious. Maybe I should put like a screenshot of our messages because I was telling him like, because what you wanted for the car, I kind of like was hardball with you because I was like, nope, too much. Like, yeah. I don't want it. Good luck with sale. And then once we like kind of started talking more and you realized it was going to a good home yeah. and, but. Sure. Anyway, it's hot out here. I'm not going to make you sit outside. We already signed all the paperwork away. Yep. I appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. I yes, sir. It. I'm glad it's going to a good home. You know it, man. Okay. Can't wait to give you guys a full rundown on this thing, but we just got the uh, good old JDM head unit working with my Bluetooth. Got some R33 GTR seats in here. So we're cruising. It's got an aftermarket clutch. It's got some good little parts in here. All right, my uh, first impression since I'm driving this car nearly like 14 hours up to Connecticut. Uh, it's pretty stable on the highway. Steering wheel doesn't really shake that much for an old car. You know, usually you got worn out bushings or something. The tires though, which are definitely dated and definitely dry rotted, are very, very loud. I'm nervous that I might get a blowout, but I do have spare wheels for my R32 and the black trailer. So if I need them, I can always get them from Pat. Um, but other than that, this thing cruises. She's quiet, so I can kind of uh, 
carry some speed and not really worry too much about revving it out and being annoying. But um, the one thing though with this car, I'm trying to hang back a little bit because I know that front lip was resprayed and I don't want to get it all chipped up because I'm driving too close to other people. So 95 can be a bit of a mess, but we're just gonna cruise along. later and we're making our first stop up here at the world famous south of the border now this place is special to me for a couple reasons as you can see there's a giant sombrero in the air the same type of sombrero that you'll see me wearing often at events coincidence I think not I figured I should probably explain why south of the border is such an important place to me uh, for one I think it's just here my dad who used to always go back and forth from Florida to Connecticut with boats he would always talk about stopping and getting fireworks here so it was kind of like one of those things on the bucket list so when we started driving down together when I started going to school to Florida we would stop here and I remember taking pictures of my e46 the first time I'd ever been here here in this parking lot three years ago the first time I've ever done a donut in a car ever was my 240 here in this very parking lot uh, actually a parking lot back there and I remember Jimmy did a little donut over here. We're rolling. Hopefully we're rolling soon in the vehicle. We're about to embark finally to go home. Finally. We're, we're heading to North Carolina. We got about eight and a half hour drive. Probably a little longer. Jimmy has no AC in the 240 so that's gonna be fun. We're packed to the max. These are the two trusty steeds. We're stock as a rock right now in the interior. Three bikes in the trunk so that's kind of cool. One bike for every three days of the week. We got walkie talkies just sure. in case. Shout out to Toys R Us. I'm, that's all I'm saying. Toys R Us sponsored. We're gonna drive a lot and then we're gonna ride some bikes so it's gonna be a good time man. <laughs> Drift, that's why I got a 240 so I can learn. I'm gonna let Jimmy do it real quick. That worker's under smoke break. Let's see how fish she gets. Jimmy overheated the 240. I didn't overheat it. Forgot to turn the fan on. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we got two hours left. Oh my Atlanta. Uh, yeah, we've been in the car going 100 for like two hours. No, we haven't. We've been obeying the law. Adam is getting ready to do one of his first donuts ever. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I did it. I've done donuts, but I'm, I've never done a donut on camera, you know. I'm a more of a bagel type of guy. Elaborate what that is so kids aren't confused. Well, a donut, it's when you dump the clutch and your car spins around while it burns rubber. You see here, both the tires spin because we have a limited slip differential. But here, in the much faster car, because BMW is genius, they put in open diff and it doesn't do donuts. So that's why I don't do donuts in my car. Yeah, that's why. Okay, turn the wheel, drop the clutch, easy enough. Someone wasn't scared to burn rubber. Out of focus, LZ. Oh, come on. No, we good. Not bad. We're out here. That was fun. This you burned way more rubber than I was hoping you would, but hey, all right. I paid for the tires. I was trying to conserve some rubber, and Adam's just like, oh, let me just burn all of it off, but it's okay. Let's go. We still got so much more. We're going to go get some fireworks. <laughs> fireworks. I made a little montage for you guys, and at the end, there might be a little Easter egg, if you want to call it that, as an homage to the good old south of the border in the LZ world. <laughs> guys that's something that I just kind of had to do and by the way dad if you're watching this I'm sorry don't worry these tires are bad anyway they got dry rot I'm planning on replacing them when I get back up to Connecticut you'll get some fresh new tires so uh, yeah uh, unfortunately I think my sunglasses were on top of the car when I did that donut 
and it kind of, it, it did attract a lot of attention even though this car is kind of quiet. So I'm not gonna go back and get them. I am a little bummed because they're my nice Ray-Bans, but I did sit on them earlier today and they were bent and hurting my face. So uh, if anyone is by South of the board and wants to go try to find my sunglasses, they're all yours. I did try to fix them, but I don't know. Anyway, I had to get going because I can't waste too much time, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that little montage. I'm trying to document this trip better than I normally do because I'm always in such a rush. Taking that beautiful sunset, and it looks like I might have just caught up to my own trailer. Would you look at that? He had quite a bit of a distance on me. I'm about to go get some Starbucks. Let's uh, let's see how the truck looks. You know, honestly, it's one of the trickiest things about a drive like this is trying to carefully curate your coffee stops. But look at this guy. Look at him ripping. real quick I was gonna power through it and uh, do the whole trip in one shot I've been making phone calls and stuff and that helps keep me awake but I got stuck in traffic in DC where I went from three lanes down to one and I was sitting for like an hour barely moving and it kind of drained me so I might pull over at a rest stop to get some, uh, some little nappy hours in um, one sweet mod on this car that I realized when you go over bumps the cluster goes out it's pretty tight and then you hit it again and it comes back on clap on clap off sick but anyway um that's that's your update guys we're cruising it's like midnight or something and i'm going through dc so i still got like five hours to go well this is gonna be a hassle am i gonna have to get out or what great I think it is, what time is it? It is 12.30. I've made the call, I think instead of going to my dad's house because that would make the most sense for like sleeping and getting a good night's sleep. I don't wanna give away the car because I'll see you in the morning, he'll ask me what the deal is, whose car it is, and uh, I wanna be able to wash it and go over it before I give it to him. So I think what I'm gonna do is go sleep on the floor of Tommy's shop because I have a key for it. Uh, I will tell you though, after driving this thing for a while, I really like Skylines. If you've ever driven like an S13 or like an old Nissan, uh, like S chassis, um, it kind of feels like those, except with the RB, the extra weight in front, kind of makes it feel like a much nicer, almost like a German feel because it's a little bit heavier with the steering. And the build quality just feels a little bit better where I really enjoy driving it. It's kind of like the, the best of both worlds. It feels like a nice, well put together car, but you still kind of have that raw old Nissan feel. So the RB is kind of slow, but it makes cool noises. It's a little spooly boy and I don't know, this would be an amazing daily. I enjoy driving it and I think my dad's really gonna enjoy it, which is what matters most. I still gotta explain to you the whole details behind why I'm getting my dad a Skyline, but I need like sleep and to think. So we got four hours left. I think I'm just gonna power through it. Got my cold brew crack right here. It's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to tell, but one thing that's making it kind of tricky, on top of all the smears in the windshield that I wasn't able to get out because my rag's dirty, these headlights are terrible. It's like they're uh, like this, not the like xenon, like the, the blue bulbs that aren't LEDs or anything, like don't really light up the road at all. So it's really hard for me to see when there's no street lights on the highway. And when you're starting to get tired, it makes it kind of tricky. So uh, whenever there's no cars in front of you, I'm flicking the high beams on and that helps quite a bit. Probably one of my least favorite things about this drive is the George Washington Bridge. I normally avoid it at all costs and take the tap and see, but uh, since it's late at night, I figured there probably wouldn't be much traffic and I thought we'd give it a shot. Look at New York City. Um, yeah, so uh, terrible road for low cars, but it doesn't look like traffic's bad. It just gets terribly confusing. I get lost every single time and I get spat out in New York City and I have a bad time. But today we're using Waze instead of Apple Maps, so hopefully she'll do us okay. I think for the first time ever we did it. No mistakes. One thing that helps a lot if you ever have to go over the George Washington Bridge, if you have a co-pilot, have them review the directions first because like the turns and exits pop up so fast it's really easy to miss them or be in the wrong lane. Like I had to dodge across four lanes with this thing, which is tough right hand drive because you can't see anything. Got it. Home stretch, baby. Hour to go. Alright guys, so it's 403. And we're pulling up to Tommy's shop. Look, I missed the GT3. I could have just chilling in there. So like I told you guys, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, 403, 
Um, I was worried that I might be like unsafely pushing it um, and I was ready to pull over and you know take a nap at a rest stop at any point but I just kept going and didn't really feel tired I don't know if it was the energy drink it doesn't make sense because I only got four hours of sleep last night and I've never done a straight shot through to Connecticut from Florida um, I did have the benefit of starting in South Carolina so I got like four hours ahead but um yeah no we're here we made it and now I get to sleep probably on the shop floor or something um, yeah there's a strange man walking behind my vehicle. What are you doing, strange man? That's a little awkward. Uh, yeah, we'll touch base tomorrow. Hopefully, strange man doesn't cause issues with me. Not a mood for strange men. Last night, at least. Welcome back. I'm pretty tired. I only slept a few hours, and you'll understand why when I show you where I slept. But we're here at Tommy's shop home of all the R32 parts you could possibly imagine and we're gonna get this thing cleaned up because today is the day where I give it to my dad so Mr. Tommy F yeah welcome to our shop sell me R32 things we have a lot all right so I'll, I'll take a set of some uh, rear GTR fenders let's see what else you got in here that's a move yeah oh I need I need this I actually do need an intake yeah. um, yes. what else you got around here was this uh, a we've got uh, oh is this a cluster I could use one of those we've got a Ganador and a half uh, yeah, I could use those. So there are some like OEM plus upgrades that I want to do to it like performance wise But I think today I'm just gonna focus on making the interior clean for my dad because it looks kind of like raggedy right now Yeah, so I'm gonna steal some some of your parts card interior pieces Okay, let's do that. But when I was saying the R32 capital, I wasn't joking around This is my bed from last night I slept on this couch and then I put like a, a blanket here for my head and then I woke up that wasn't comfortable so I ended up sleeping in the back seat of the Evo. That's all my sweatshirts and stuff that I use as the pillow. I could have gone to my dad's house, it's not that much farther but I didn't want to ruin the surprise of the car so I stayed here. Yeah dude look, that's where I slept. Not only are we a, uh, a parts place, we're also a hotel. Yeah, look. We're only for special guests. Jesus Christ. I'm not joking. I thought you slept on this Well setup. I did and then I woke up, I couldn't stay asleep. Yeah that's not a great. So I was like let me go on the Evo. Yeah, we've got uh, some Ikea Formula arms, some brakes. What do you want? Oh, I could have bought brakes from you? Dude, I've got Brembo's that would work on that thing. Really? Go right on. Ooh, tempting. My dad, my dad does need to late brake everywhere. He does. He does. I was a little bummed when I first got the car because it's got a lot of these little imperfections in the paint. It looks like it's in the clear coat, but it's not. It's like it had been sitting in sap, so I'm going to try clay bar in the car and see if I can get a lot of this crap out. But my dad very much so would like this car to look OEM, so that's why I'm gonna like, I'll steal the bride mats, put some like OEM ones in it. I think this thing will come off. Just try to make it look like clean and stock, because I know that that's what he'll appreciate rather than having something that looks like some kid tampered with it. Adam, I got you something. Yeah. Is this new microfibers? Is that what this is? Oh, open it up. There's what more. What is it? We got a old detail kit. Was it a Tommy F yard? Yeah, this is an old detail oh, kit. So we got a new oh, mat. Look at these Vegas air fresheners. You make me sick. Sick. Using myself for your own self game. No, 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 those are old. We don't sell those anymore. I think these wheels are actually gonna clean up decent, dude. They're sick too. They're old logo. I thought they're new logo. They're old logo with new logo stickers on them. And you know what? I have a, I have a correction for that too. Do you have the right stickers? Correct. No way. Yeah, let's do it. Dude, I'm so excited. We're gonna make this car like a ten times better car and like within like two hours. There's so much stuff that we can do just to like make it a better car. Yeah. Right, Sick. What do, you, what do you think about the coilovers in this thing? I'm so stoked it has Owens. Yeah. I think it's so super cool. I want to go for a ride in it before you leave. Dude, it rides pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. So unfortunately the clay bar isn't enough to take out these little uh, sap spots, but the good news is it is definitely above the paint. So once we get uh, Larson over here to do like a full correction on this thing, all that stuff will come out. But for today, I think we're just gonna have to live with it and focus on everything else. So the first thing I wanna do, Tommy, these white things, like I'm pretty sure we can just like literally just pull it right off. And I think it'll look better, don't you? Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm scared. Why? Well, you can always put them back on, it's just double-sided adhesive. I think it'll definitely look better. Yeah, look at that. Wow. I think that looks way better, don't you? Yeah. Just Can clean this up? up a little? Yeah. Weird. It's kinda cool. So I made like a... It's kind of really interesting, it. isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't have gone with white, personally, but yeah. you know, that's just... Me. It'd be a cool piece to like maybe rewrap in something else though and just stick it right on. Maybe we can sell it to TJ Hunt and he'll put it in one of his cars. Dude, honestly, probably sp spray this black and it would actually look good. Yeah. Step one, step two. Bride floor mats are cool, but my dad's not going to think they're cool, so these are coming out. Tommy, you got uh, some floor mats that we can throw in here? I got you. 
The carpet on this thing's actually pretty clean. I'm hoping, so these front seats used to be covered in leather like the back. I think that this leather cover will come right off. I just don't know what the seat's gonna look like underneath it. I might need to pull the seat out yeah, though to do that. First seat. See what I was talking about with this filter, dude? It's like, ugh. Yeah. Asbestos. Yeah, that should be like the first thing we change. Yeah. I got some. Sick. All right, what you got for me floor mats? Got some brand new terra firma black mats. Woo! Oh, so these are the same ones I have in my R32. So terra firma remade like OEM style mats for the R32. So these will be like direct fit and they'll look like brand new. Sick. Are. Shut up. Dude, I hope this cover comes off the seat. Yeah, it does. It looks exactly like the one I have. It's all these strings. You gotta like undo these. Cover for sale, $30, OBO. How's she gonna look? Oh, it's a GTST seat. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know either. That's junk, dude. It does look way better than it did though, doesn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm pretty sure this armrest cover will come right off. It looks like it's just like, I don't wanna rip it, but it looks pretty nice under there, so I'm just gonna pull this guy off. These pedal covers are kinda cool, but they're also kinda sketchy, cause one came off on me, so I'm gonna rip these guys off. I think that they just have little bendy things holding them on. So it should be pretty easy. Look at that, looking so much better now. All right, so the rear, See, it has been de-uglied. Now moving forward, I'm just doing the floor mats, gonna vacuum her real quick. So it was a little bit of a tricky situation to get this thing fitted up here. I kinda took to rig some stuff, but Tommy had an HKS filter laying around that was still in pretty good shape. So I got rid of, unfortunately, the really nice ARC one that would be tight, but I guess those filters are hard to come by. So I got this one mounted up here pretty solid. How's she sound? What do you think? Sounds sick. Pull that cable, bro. It sounds JDM as heck. Yeah, it does. One thing that the previous owner did not do in the entire lifespan of this car was change the oil since he got it from the importer. I mean, he said he only put like a thousand or two miles on it, um, but still, just for peace of mind, I'm gonna put some fresh oil in her, and then we're also gonna see what's going on with the exhaust underneath this thing to get a better idea of what we could do in the future. I'm excited for the exhaust. Yeah, you think, you think we got something here that we can make it work? I think we got something. My dad's, my dad's gonna have some sound, dude. This thing's kinda quiet. Yeah, it is quiet. We don't know if it's gutted or not. Tommy doesn't think it is, but it does still have a cat, and this, uh, this looks kind of interesting underneath, doesn't it? Looks pretty clean though. The actual chassis looks really clean. Those coilovers look pretty new, don't they? Look at those all ones too. What do those cost new, Tommy? Those, probably 2,200 bucks, those ones. You wanna buy them? For what? I don't know. It's got a stock sway bar, that's something we can upgrade down the road. I really don't wanna go too crazy with this car until I figure out what my dad wants it for. So like, I'm not gonna even put tires on it until I find out whether my dad wants more of like an aggressive compound or something that he can drive in the rain. I really don't know like, how he's gonna use it. I still gotta talk about why I'm getting my dad a Skyline. I haven't talked about that yet. When we're done changing the oil, I'll do that. Every time I come here, I'm always searching for crush washers and Tommy never has them. And I'm like, guy, don't you change your oil? We don't drive anything enough to change the oil. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put like 3,000 miles on a car to do that, huh? Exactly. At least. I don't know if I ever- You have to finish your the, car the, first. The, the, oh, do you wait, keep wait, a wait. car long enough to change the oil? The van. We've changed the oil in the van seven times. Good for you. It's got almost 40K on it. We bought it in the October. Yeah, so I'm not gonna name any names, but said importer that brought this car over also didn't look like they uh, change the oil filter unless they happen to import a GDM oil filter. So always change your oil on your cars, guys, because this oil was super thin and super old. And like for a low mileage car, that, I mean, it's not good. You could like ruin the fact that it's low mileage. The test pipe going in should uh, sound a little bit better and free up some extra horsepowers. How much do you think we're gonna make? Honestly, I think the car, usually when you pull a cat off, it makes like, what, another two or three pounds? Yeah. Boost without like screwing with the controller, and it'll sound tight, so. It's gonna sound good. Yeah. We've got this titanium Tomei here. I noticed she was a little low in coolant, so I'm bleeding her real quick, but uh, Tommy, give her some revs, let's hear us through sounds. It's got a nice note. Dude. She sounds rad. That sounds really good. Yeah, it does. Especially it's when it gets those little noise. pops. Yeah. yeah. That one pop was loud. So here's the story behind getting my dad a Skyline. I guess you could say that we've kind of had a bonding relationship over older Japanese cars in the sense that the first real performance car that I was ever really exposed to was this Prelude. I remember when I was younger, he went shopping uh, and he was looking at Integras and Preludes. I remember riding in an Integra when he test drove it. It was the first time I'd ever been in like a car where he was banging gears. I thought it was the coolest thing. He didn't buy it, I legit cried. I was so upset. I was like, man, my dad is the coolest guy ever and he just didn't buy this great car. Turns out the dealership sells a lot of flood cars so my dad made a good call. Fast forward, he got the Prelude, 
tons of bonding, you know, like we would go and he would race people with it, you know, like within reason. And uh, we'd go and we'd do zero to 60 runs on back roads, not on back roads, on like, you know, safe roads. And I'd, I'd be like, I don't know, probably like 13 or 14, holding a stopwatch time in my dad to see how fast he could do it. And uh, that car has kind of been a very big symbol, I feel like, of my like interest in cars and both like our relationship as father and son. Okay, folks, today is uh, March 19th, 2006. And I believe Mr. Adam Lazat Zeiser is going to have his first driving lesson here. We're at Sandy Hook Elementary School. What is that, a Mazda racing team jacket you have on there? I can't see it. Move your arm. Yeah, but I don't really yeah, race Yeah, I still can't Mazda. see it. Duh. I don't really race for Mazda. <laughs> I wouldn't think so because I see what looks like a Honda Prelude 2001 set up for racing. Are you going to give us a demo here how your driving skills have improved since you haven't really taken off in the car yet just here on... The parking lot? Sure. Okay, this is your first time. Make it a good one. Buckle up. Buckle up. Yeah, I know. Yep, I know. This is my first time in a car. It's my first time driving. I a car. know you've done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Typical ten-year-old driving experience. First lesson. You know how they are a little cocky. Yes. What? A little weird. It's taken everything in me, especially now knowing how to work on cars and now having all these connections, not to modify his Prelude. Um, that's the type of thing where like that's my dad's baby he dailies that car he's had it for so long he loves how it's so stock where if I took that car and I put like a turbo on it or even coilovers he would not be stoked but I'm in this position where I have this love for cars I know that he enjoys them but he's never really had a turbo car he's never really had a fun rear-wheel drive car for him to drive but he loves driving mine he loves right-hand drive he loves the attention that he gets whenever he drives a right-hand drive car so that kind of brought up well instead of modifying his prelude what if I got him something else so to get out fun driving? Because I want him to be able to experience while well, I still can driving something fun and being able to cruise together, whether it's going to a car show or just ripping around. Um, I want to see my dad rolling in something sick. So the Skyline kind of came about because I feel like aesthetically they look similar to Preludes. I'll see silver Skyline sometimes. I'll be like, huh, kind of looks like a Prelude. My dad loves how the Prelude looks. He likes older cars. He's not zero, like zero interest in newer cars. He's very much a uh, old school dude. So I feel like the Skyline's a perfect, um, embodiment of like older 90s Japanese cars it's fast it's fun but it's not too fast or too unreliable um, I was worried if I got him an R32 GTR it'd just be too expensive if something broke or you know if uh, it got into a wreck or something where GTSTs uh, I feel like it's a good happy medium where the RB20 isn't so fast that he's gonna get himself into trouble um, but it's fast enough where I think he'll have a lot of fun especially this car with what it has and then if we want to do a bigger turbo or something on it, if he wants it to be faster, maybe that could be a project that we could do together, or modifying it, or even putting like an RB25 in it. Um, I don't know really what his interest is going to be. I know he's going to love the car. Um, this color, the wine red, is like probably his favorite color. His truck is this color. He's got a boat this color. Um, he paints his dog's fingernails this color. My dad loves red. So I think he's going to love the car. I think he's going to love the attention that he gets from it. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of how he's going to want to use it. If he's going to drive it as a daily, I think that'd be really cool. I just don't know how comfortable he's going to be um, driving right-hand drive. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of experience driving right-hand drive with his boats. Um, and he has traveled extensively in other countries, driven right-hand drive. And, you know, he's driven my right-hand drive cars. But I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if he'll want to modify or if he'll want to leave it stock like it is now. Um, but... Uh, Either way, I think it's going to put a big smile on his face and like to be able to share something that I'm so passionate about with him, for him to be able to enjoy when I'm not there, not just like driving my cars, which he always loves to do, um, will be really, really cool. So this has been something that I've wanted to do for so long and I'm unbelievably excited to give this to him. I'm shaking. Here's the big moment. I wonder what he's going to think. I'm so excited. Do you know what this is? Not for me. Yes, it is. What is it? It's a Skyline. Oh my god. Oh, nobody's ever done this. Holy oh, Left hand drive? Right hand drive. Right hand drive, wow. Cool. Oh my god. You don't want it? I got it for you. I've been looking for a Skyline in this color for like almost a year now for you. Wow. Do you like the color? I've never had anybody do anything like this for me. All they did is give me Gracie. <laughs> That's Gracie.
Wow. What do you think? Oh, this is like holy sh So do I have to drift with it? No, it's just it's just a car to enjoy like the Prelude. Except oh my god, I gotta learn how to drive with the right hand. Yeah, no, we can go cruising our skylines. Let me show Glenn here. Take a picture. Of yeah. This well, you can drive it down there. I just want to show you around yeah, it real quick. Yeah. You want to take a photo? Yeah. yeah. I drove this up from South Carolina for you. I'm That's that. This is this. No, I didn't trailer it. I drove this up. How'd the trailer get well, the trailer has my skyline in it. This is yours. Well, you didn't tow the trailer with this. Where's the truck? The truck and trailer are at the diner. Oh, okay. Yeah. So who? How did you get both cars in the? I drove this up. I drove this from how South did you Carolina. The truck and the trailer. Pat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I got it. Yeah. Do I look okay for your video? Yeah, you look great. Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm ready to go burn some grass. Over you don't. Or whatever. Do you have any questions? You want to know like anything about it? Is it registered? Uh, right now it's still in the last kid's name, so I'm just waiting for the okay. title. And we'll switch it, but you can drive it around. I'm gonna drive it down the dock. <laughs> yeah, you can. Go for it. 20 miles on, yeah. So it's got 70,000 kilometers on it. So it's only got like 30,000 miles. So was it imported from Japan? Yep. Wow. Standard audible. Standard, five speed. If I can learn to drive it on the side. It's got AC and everything. You gonna go show your friends? Yeah. You better not jump on the car, dog. <laughs> you got your own turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to say anything? It doesn't matter. Well, I'm speechless anyway, so. I'm still speechless. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mine's four door, less cool. Okay. Mine's got all stickers all over, but yours is like the clean stock one. Okay. Well, how many of these are around? Or is this video in here? Yeah, yeah, so we can just oh, do it. Hey guys. No. What? <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> We're gonna go get some food. Now that it's had some time to sink in, what do you think about your new Skyline? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So my hypothesis was that you'd love to show off to your friends with right-hand drive, is that accurate? Yes, that's accurate. He's been talking about going to cruise night with this thing over and over, <laughs> so. I'm gonna be a drifter when I grow up. I mean, we, we could turn it into a drift car, but I, I think you'd enjoy it more as like just a street car. Yep, well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? I guess so. Yeah. We'll see how he handles it. Right-hand drive, cool. We all set when I drive in Japan. <laughs> Let's go to get some food. Is it power steering? Yep. That's a little Japanese uh, like toll reader thing. Really? Yeah, it just talks to you. So yeah, you'll find the turning radius on it's actually really good. What do you think? Why? It goes. It will spin the wheels in first gear, so be careful. It'll take a little while to get like used to shifting with the left hand, but yep. it's just you'll figure it out. So you're in fourth. I'm in fourth. Yeah, sounds like it. What I'll do is like when I shift to second, I kind of use my hand like that, so I make sure I'm pushing well, over. Well, I never shift it my left hand. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> How's that on gas mileage? It's pretty good. Is this an external tack? So that's a boost gauge. What is that? Boost? That'll tell you like how much pressure your turbo is pushing. Okay. You won't really ever need to look at it. It's just more one of those things if you're playing with things or if the car's doing weird stuff, you can kind of use my it. Am video, my on video right now? Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to use any of this. Okay. I mean, I have to wink or anything like that. No. It's just if you do like any like accelerations or whatever just to get your reaction. But it is definitely a high RPM power band compared to. Oh wow. Definitely faster than the prelude. You think? Oh yeah. Do you like the sound? Yeah. I thought you'd like it because it's kind of quiet, but it makes yeah. cool notes. Nice and tight. 
So it's rear wheel drive. Yep, rear wheel drive, two liter, six cylinder. But the rear wheels steer? Yeah, so it has what's called Pica, so the rear wheels will steer just ever so slightly. How are the brakes? They're I mean, really good. I mean, are they new, relatively uh, new I mean, pads? I'm going to put new pads and rotors on it, okay. but like they, they're perfectly fine. I'm just going to put nice okay. ones on for you. Seriously though, like the most important thing to me is like, like I said, don't worry about keeping it in the garage. Don't worry about if you hit a pothole or mess up a wheel or break something, or even if you hit something. Like I got this car for you to drive and enjoy it. Okay. I, do, I just want to, it's, it's a nice car and it's low miles, but I, I want you to enjoy it and drive it okay. and have fun. What's the blue light here for? That's a boost controller. Uh, it's all in Japanese though, so I don't know how to work it. Okay. So uh, with turbo cars, you can basically trick the car into producing more pressure. Mm -hmm. So it. And what's this? That's your little head unit. What do you mean it's, head unit? Like that's your CD player. Oh my God! Wow, I'm not used to that technology. <laughs> Seems like, like you're getting along fine with the driving, other than going to fourth sometimes. Do you use fifth a lot or? You're in fourth. You're in fourth. Do you use fifth a lot? Uh, yeah, yeah, on the highway we use fifth. It's geared kind of short like the Prelude. Where's your signal? Oh, on the right. Sorry, I should have told you that. That's, that's the only other thing you have to get used to. Yeah. Well, as long as I know. Yeah, well now you know. All right, we're gonna go get some food, so I'm gonna close out this video here. Overall thoughts? Nice surprise. Yeah? I haven't had a surprise like this in my lifetime, except when I had you. Jeez. <laughs> well, anyway, that was a surprise. what do you think the odds are I can get you to help me wrench on this thing if we wanna do cool stuff for it for you? The odds for me? Yeah. Are you, are, you, are you down to help? Yeah. Cool. I thought it'd be a fun little project. Yep. We'll put a bigger turbo on it, or maybe a, maybe a V8. You want a V8? Yeah, small V8. Yeah, just a little LS? 302, 283, whatever. Oh boy, I'm, I'm gonna get him started. So, anyway, if you guys made it through this whole video to here, I hope you enjoyed the whole process of everything. I'm sure we'll make some continuations as my dad gets used to driving this thing. Yes. And you are gonna drive it yes. a lot. But you're not, I don't think you should sell the Prelude though. No, just not. Yeah. Right he was talking about selling the Prelude, you can't do that. But, anyway. You, do you have any things you want to say to the viewers before I close this no, video? Just, hey viewers, this was really a nice surprise for me. Like I said, the biggest one pretty other than having Adam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I was unexpected, wasn't I? Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises uh, are the best. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. This yep. is awesome. Uh, I'm glad to be able to bring you guys along for the ride and I'm stoked to finally have my dad rocking something cool. This thing's so rad. So anyway, and that's it. Bonus clip. All right, this is your engine check. You gotta tell me about your engine. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. You sure that's just a six? Yeah. Yes, they're big. So here's your little your little dongle hole right here. But yeah, you got all the fancy things. That's brand new under there. Yeah, she's pretty clean. I mean, for 70,000 kilometers, I hope it'd be clean. Don't forget your seatbelt. I know you hate your seatbelt. Nope, yeah, this side. It's, it's all on the same it. side. I forgot to use it. You look good in it, Dad. Some lady's talking to me in Japanese. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the like toll thing. Good thing I like Asian people. Yeah, my dad's actually got a Japanese girlfriend. Have fun. I thought he was about to do a burnout. He's crazy.